Okay, so it's October 9th and Jesus Coin is going crazy. This is going to be a down and dirty video because I want to get this out as fast as I can. So not a whole lot of fancy graphics. Let's get right to it. Okay, so this is the 15 minute uh, chart on Jesus Coin. Every bar rep represents 15 minutes. And uh, Jesus Coin at the moment is trading at decimal six zeros 17. Well, 17, 13, right? And at the moment, it is up 48% over the last 24 hours. So let's uh, take a little longer term view. Let's, let's see what's been going on here for the past uh, 24 hours. Okay, the further back I go, the, the thinner the chart gets and it's harder to see. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so as significant as this technical move is, what's even more important is the volume. The volume is 1.2 million. Remember, this coin has been languishing at around twenty to $30,000 a day for a long time now. Now, all of a sudden, we have 1.2 million in a 24-hour period. Okay, let's take a quick look at the daily now. Now, I mentioned uh, Jesus Coin recently in uh, a video I've been talking about cryptos in general. And I mentioned Jesus Coin along with another coin, uh, Super Trump, watching for levels to be taken out. Uh, Super Trump was taken out, and, and, and that's going nuts. And now Jesus Coin on the daily chart is taking out that really important 16 level that I mentioned in my last video. I told you guys that I'd be interested in this coin again uh, if and when it took out 16. Well, here we, here we go. We took out 16 in a, in, in a very convincing fashion. Okay, so that 16 level, okay, so that 16 level is taken out. Okay, so the next important level for me is uh, 6030. Once we clear 6030, the next resistance is the all time high. And once it takes out the all time high, you know, the sky is the limit. Now, one thing to kind of uh, uh, point out to you guys that even after today's 50% move, the Jesus meme coin still only has a market cap of 26 million. So it is still, so the upside potential on this is ridiculous. It, it could go crazy. Okay, let's go back to the 50 minute chart here. Okay. Okay, listen, I took a quick look on X to see whether uh, there is a catalyst, whether there is some uh, piece of news that's causing this. Uh, if any of you out there know of any particular catalyst, could you share it in the comment section below? Uh, so I am back into Jesus Coin in a, a, a pretty big way. I did manage to get in before that 16 level was broke. I, I, I'm in it around 15 and a quarter there. Now, these coins, uh, just like with anything, they move in spurts. But, but especially with meme coins, they move in spurts. So you can spend a long period of time languishing, doing a whole lot of nothing, and then bam, something happens. The real question is what happens after the spurt? Is this the beginning of something really massive or is this another heartbreaking, you know, pop and then it'll settle right back down again? We won't know for a few days, probably. Now, whether it's a stock or commodity or crypto or a meme coin, you know, when you get big moves, they need a chance to rest. OK, they think, you know, think of them as like sprinters. They can move fairly far, you know, you know very quickly. But at some point they have to rest. At some point, this move is going to have to be digested. Now, in the meme coin space, <laughs> uh, it actually is not unusual to see a coin just go and go and go and not stop. You know, and it goes a lot farther than anyone you know ever thought. And I wouldn't count on that happening here. So if you think you've missed it, if FOMO is starting to kick in, let me just you know settle you down a little bit here, okay? Uh, if this is the beginning of you know the real move uh, in Jesus Coin, it has a long way to go. I mean, Jesus Coin does have the potential of being a thousand plus Xer. It really does. So the fact that it's up fifty percent in one day should not lead you to think that you, you you missed the move. Now, if you see this video and you run out and you you buy Jesus Coin right away, and then it goes down, you know, right away after you buy it, you feel like an idiot. Hey, don't worry about that. You know, it, keep the bigger picture in mind. So uh, I am in uh, now. I am using yesterday's low on this coin as my stop. You know, because that, that's what I do. Otherwise, let's see what happens again. I don't know whether this is the start of a real move or whether it's going to be uh, another head fake and that we're all going to you know, regret <laughs> you know, in, in a few days. But I wanted to alert you to what's going on with the coin so that you can take a look at it in case you haven't been paying attention. All right, so we'll see. Ed Anderson, live from Minnesota, signing out. Copy that.